Hello everyone, in this video we will see what is rollback to activity in ServiceNow. It is used in workflows where we want to roll back to a certain point in the workflow which has already been executed due to a failure in workflow or maybe you have a requirement. The definition of rollback to is when a condition in a workflow trigger a rollback to activity the workflow moves processing backward to a specified activity in the workflow and resets certain activities that have already been executed to their original state. This is useful when handling an unexpected failure or as to part of a program logical flow. One thing to note here is rollback to activity is only available for workflows which are extended from task table. And what happens actually when a rollback happens in a workflow? The approvals are set to not requested, tasks are reset to either open or pending, a rollback workflow path cannot create new tasks, activities that perform external system operations such as deleting a file or sending an email are not rolled back. So this is quite important to note. Only the approvals are reset and the tasks which were created in between the workflow will change uh, their status to open or pending from close, complete or cancelled. Let's quickly jump to ServiceNow to see how can we utilize this in our ServiceNow workflows. If you see here, I have already created a workflow called Rollback Demo and it begins here and then it goes for an approval directly to System Administrator and I have used the user as System Admin so it will always go directly to System Admin which I am logged in as. Similarly, when it is approved, it will go to a second approval which is again System Administrator simply. And after that, if it is rejected, there is a rollback activity and there is a catalog task which is created. And after that, it will go to approval one again. And if it is approved, we will end the workflow. Basically, when we approve the first approval and reject the second approval, both the approvals should be reset to their original state and the catalog task should be created at first time and if the approval is rejected for the second time it should again open from close complete state let's quickly test this in a service catalog item i will go to maintain items and we will quickly test this workflow i've created one catalog item called rollback demo item if you don't know what are service catalogs please click on the top right corner and you will be redirected to a service catalog playlist I'll click on try it and I'll click on order now. So this particular catalog item uses this workflow and we will quickly see that. I'll go here and I'll click on show workflow. And now we can see approval one has been requested. I will go to approvers and I will approve this. And as soon as it is approved, it will move to the second approval. I'll again scroll down at the bottom and you can see it has been requested to system administrator and now I will reject this. And as soon as it is rejected, the rollback to activity is run and catalog task is created. If we go back to the RITM, you can see here the first approval is in approved state and second has been changed to not yet requested. We will see it in a minute how it changes back to their original state when the task is closed. I will go to this task which has been created and I'll click on close task and as soon as I do that it will again go to the approval and now you can see the first approval is now requested again to system administrator and the second one is not yet requested. So that means as soon as I approve this again it will be again requested to the second level of approval and it has changed to request it now and now I will again reject this and the catalog task should again open and you can see the workflow is here and I will go again here and you can see the state has been changed to open from close complete one thing to note here again is the approvals have been again changed to not yet requested and as soon as I close this one of them will become requested the first level of approval. If I click on workflow context we can see each and every step of this workflow one by one and if I sort it by time 
we would be able to see it the workflow began with approval one then approval two and then it was rolled back and then there was a task demo which was task created then approval one two again and then it was rejected again and then it rolled back again and then the task and further whatever steps we do we can see all that in the workflow context under workflow transition history if we go here in workflow activity history we can see each and every detailed step what was the result whether approved or rejected or what was the state i hope this video was helpful to you if you have any questions on rollback to activities please let me know in comments please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video